guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Masculine Sherry here from NFGC. How's it going? Uh, so this is going to be a, a Yang reading for uh, February the 25th until March the 4th. I hope you're all doing well. So just a reminder, my cards are for sale. Um, selling them for $75 a deck. I was selling them at 100, but that also included a reading as well. So if you wanted to do it that way, that's great. Uh, the $75 does include shipping. Um, except for those of you who are in Canada, for some reason it costs $10 more, almost double the price for me to ship in Canada. So there is a little bit extra charge for that. But you can email me at sherry shock at hotmail.com, um, and the email should be in the description box below. So I'm going to do an elemental reading, a split elemental reading. Um, now, each position. Uh, represents an element, right? So we got um, emotions, which is water, air, mental, uh, spiritual fire, and earth, uh, which is pentacles. So I think what I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to, you know, just pull the cards and put them in the positions. Um, so if I pull an air, you know, it goes in the air position, um, and I'm going to keep pulling until all the cards, all the positions are filled. Okay, you'll see what I mean in a second. So let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so the first card, oh, and, the, and anything that's a chakra, I'm going to put it above as well. Okay, so the first card out is the base chakra. Um, so for the coming week, um, the base chakra is going to be activated, and we'll see what the rest of the cards say before we get into that next is lover's card which is air so we're going to put it into the mental space uh, next we have strength which is fire so we're going to put it in the spiritual space next is emotions uh, cups the nine of cups so we're going to put that in the emotional space and wow the 11 11 card interesting okay so there isn't really a space for that so i'm going to put it up with the chakra next um, broken heart so it's air again in the air space uh, another um, water card which is the knight of cups next the sun fire another fire card uh, another air card another fire another fire another fire holy cow another cup so we're looking for the last card which is going to be an earth card so we're going to keep pulling until all the positions are filled so continue heart chakra uh, there we go okay so this is an earth card this is the high priest and look at the bottom of the deck for the soul energy which is another uh, fire card so spirit so the soul of the masculine is going to be feeling free like he's starting a new adventure if you watch the twin flame reading um, he had the page of Pentacles as well as the uh, the fool card okay so the fool card and the uh, page of fire have very similar energy it's a very excited um, enthusiastic um, you know they're just ready for this adventure this could also mean great news great communication um, but what I see here is the soul being un unleashed a free spirit okay so let's move on up to the chakras that are going to be activated in the next week so we got the base chakra now usually the first three chakras show some type of blockage okay so I read this as him feeling a little insecure about the 3D reality, so this is safety, security, sustenance, uh, shelter, all the S's. So the next card that acts activated here is the 1111 card. So this is signs, synchronicities, 
So that may be the reason why he's, you know, feeling so free and open is because he's seeing signs and synchronicities. Um, the second chakra activated is the heart chakra. So this is unconditional love, feeling like your, your uh, relationships are balanced. You're able to express your emotions. Um, so usually there is no blockage with the heart chakra. So these two cards together shows me that the masculine recognizes the twin flame connection and feels this deep love, uh, but is possibly insecure about, you know, the physical world. Or it could also mean he feels grounded in the connection. He knows where he came from. He knows um, where he's going to go, that kind of thing. That makes more sense, especially with the free spirit card there. Okay, so the 3D physical reality, we have the high priest. This card did show up also in the twin flame reading um, as a final outcome with the four of pentacles. So again, it's kind of pointing to that sense of insecurity in the 3D reality. Um, but the physical, he may be reaching out with like-minded people, sharing um, his wisdom, um, you know, just connecting. But, you know, I see this strong sense of self and um, a very conscious being in the, the physical reality. So people may also be coming to him for advice as well. So if we move on over to the spiritual side of everything, we've got a lot of stuff taking place here. So the first card to pop out was strength card. So this is taming the beast within. It is um, not lashing out at people, but creating a beautiful environment for people to express themselves. Now, the sun card also came out with that, and that's the most positive card in the deck. Again, kind of showing that free sp spirit, uh, innocent, excited energy this is a resounding yes so i see him being really humbled but feeling free and you know just on top of the world like everything's going right for him next he got the three of wands yeah thumbs up you know awesome continue um this is starting to see uh, a payoff uh, also feeling encouraged so so much positive energy and support the Nine of Wands, even though it does say Wounded Warrior there, it also represents spiritual strength, okay? So he's not getting knocked down. He, he has the strength, the power, the courage to continue moving forward. And we also saw that Solar Plexus Chakra activated in the present position, which kind of um, supports this idea of feeling love, feeling connected, feeling like he wants to move forward. Uh, with a loving connection and begin a new journey and just you know being on top of the world about his decision now we have the eight of wands in the um, the next card so this is communicating sending a positive vibration into the universe and having it return to you the two of wands is that door opening expansion of consciousness so I see so much positive energy accelerated energy excitement um, and possibly communication for the masculine, but all expansive, um, creative, powerful energy for him. Which is why he looks like that. Emotionally, beautiful. Uh, so the, the first card that popped out was the Nine of Cups, Dreams Fulfilled. So uh, remember he had the Ten of Cups in the present position. So feeling surrounded by friends and family, just celebrating life feeling accomplished, um, doing what you love. Okay, the he also got the uh, the Knight of Cups as well in the foundation, but it was with the coming apart card. So even though that there's a sense of separation there, there's a desire to move forward and express his love, right? Look at that. He's very aware of uh, the Twin Flame connection and desires reunion, and it could mean reunion for some of you. He all, um, did he get the Six of Cups? I can't remember who did. Somebody did in the Twin Flame reading. Okay, so mentally, um, we have the Lover's card was the first card to pop out. So the Lover's card is, um, even though it's a mental card, it's, it's about passion, desire, connection. Um, 
you know, of twin flames. It's feeling that magnetic um, attraction for another person. But it is also a longing card. So is the Knight of Cups, a desire to be one. Now, the Three of Swords, broken heart, um, means that there are some thoughts that are uh, making him feel sad and heartbroken. Um, you know, feeling that separation. But ultimately, we got the Four of Swords, which is healing from that heartbreak. So it's withdrawing from negative energy. So he desires this union he you know he's feeling these passionate um emotions um and because he can't have it you know there's this mental um blockage or thoughts that he's trying to ignore now um what both aspects desired as a crowning energy was heal the out right so you know, both aspects are definitely in a healing phase. But I'm seeing a lot of love and excitement, um, a desire to, to move forward and, and begin a new life. So much accelerated energy, communication possibly as well. Um, but the masculine is in the high priest um, energy, in the physical reality. It's like he's all knowing. Right, he's allowing things, you know, just to bounce off of him. But he's aware. He's seeing synchronistic signs that encourages him. Beautiful reading for you, masculine. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from Wisdom of the Oracle by Call It Baron Reed as the final message from the universe. Oh, okay, so that one. Coming to the edge. Very nice. And again, guys, thank you for your love and support. Um, you know, with making the cards and the, writing the book and everything, I, I love you guys so much. Okay, so it says, the essential meaning is courage, uh, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, the relationship message. It's scary to be truly intimate with somebody, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, and say what you hope for. Yeah, and that's exactly what this is all about. Feeling powerful and um, confident in expressing yourself, expanding who you are, showing yourself, even though there are some thoughts that are kind of pulling you back, ultimately your, your heart is full of love and you are aware. Um, okay, so um, this is not a time to play it safe, to take, a leap of, um, to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step towards the gods, and they will deliver what you truly desire. Yeah, right? True love. Awesome. Your dream is to move forward and reunite. And, um, yeah, the universe is telling you to go for it. All right. You also got the Fool card in the Twin Flame reading as well. Take that leap of faith. Show yourself. Um, open yourself up. Remember that the final outcome on your side was the Four of Pentacles, feeling closed off, right? But it came with the High Priest. Open up, give of yourself, share yourself. All right, I hope this helps you guys. I'm sending you love. All right, cheers.